We'll start with questions for Marcus. He can go up after. John, first one right here. Marcus, John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Um, you put everything into this, everybody in that locker room. What's, what, what are the emotions after a loss like that when you look around and you see the guys that you've made all of these strides with, but also oops, sorry, uh, having, having lost this at home, uh, you know, losing, your, losing in the finals? Um, it's tough. You know, we've been through a lot this year as a team, as a group, uh, individually, uh, collectively. And, um, you know, it's tough. You know, every obstacle that was thrown at in front of us, you know, um, we prevailed and triumphed through it. Um, came up short tonight. Let's go. Bobby right here in the third row on this side, right on the aisle. Thank you. Jason, when you kind of look back on this playoff run and your game and you guys collectively as a team, just what, what do you feel like you need to improve on to reach that next level if you're just assessing some of the ways you fell short on this run and Marcus as well? Um, <clears throat> I think just, uh, you know, our level of poise at, at times, you know, throughout this series and um, previous series, you know, myself included, we, uh, you know, taking care of the ball, things like that. Um, but it's easy to, you know, look back and see and say all the things you could have done better. Uh, you know, we tried. Uh, I know that for a fact. And to piggyback off, he said, yeah, we tried. Um, obviously, you know, to look back and say what we could have done, um, it's tough. Um, you know, we all made mistakes that, um, that that obviously couldn't have been made, could have been prevented, but we're learning. It's part of it. And, um, you know, you take that in and go into next season and, and you try to build off of it, um, the things that we've done wrong and the things that we've done great. Jared in the front. You guys made progress throughout the season of – figuring out your crunch time offense and how to keep the ball moving when the defense ramps up. Why do you think the Warriors were able to take that away from you guys? And how did you try to solve that in these last few games? Um, they did a good job. You know, um, they were putting bodies in front of us, uh, making us work for everything we got. Um, it was tough. Um, and, you know, we tried everything we, we, we possibly knew. Uh, we even tried things that we, we haven't, haven't tried the whole series and uh, just didn't cut it for us. So you learn from it. That's really it, you know. Um, can't look back on, on the past. You got to look ahead. And that's all that matters now. Adam in the middle. You guys and the guys who were up here earlier said a lot about learning. Um, from the experience, what did you kind of learn about what it takes to get to this point over these past like two months and just kind of how slim the margin for error can be along the way? Um, it's hard. It's hard getting to this point and it's even harder, you know, getting over the hump and winning. Uh, it's been a long journey, a long process, you know. Um, you know, that's what I took from it, that it's, it's tough. And, you know, we got to take it up another level to do what we, what we want to do. Gary? Gary Ross from Boston Globe. Jason, first question, how is your shoulder? Will you need a procedure or anything uh, on that right shoulder this offseason? Uh, no, I don't think so. The defense they played against you, some of the – and the ability to finish at the rim. What can you take away from this? Because obviously the, the narrative's going to change and, you know, talk's going to, you know, will this motivate you this summer? And you've played pretty much nonstop since USA Basketball. Do you kind of need a break too? Um, I ain't got no choice, no. Um, it's the off season. You know, this is tough. Um, 
you know, getting to this point and not accomplishing what we wanted to, um, it hurts. And, you know, we all could have did things better. You know, I feel like I could have done a lot of things better. Um, but, you know, like we said, we competed, we tried all season, all playoffs. Um, you know, take some time off, enjoy it with your family and rest and, you know, get back to it. Tim in the back. Jason, what was, uh, what was going through your mind when you were sitting there on the bench for the final minute and then as they were starting that celebration afterward? Um, you know, like I just keep saying it, it, it hurts, you know, being with this group, things that we've overcome throughout the season, getting to this point, um, you know, just knowing that how bad we wanted it and, and coming up short, uh, it's a terrible feeling. And, and for both of you guys, obviously it's hard to think about it in this moment, but given how much things have changed over the past few months since where you guys were in mid-January. What what are the things you'll think about when you have a day or two to kind of get a little separation from this when you look back on this season and all that you guys have accomplished over the past, you know, seven, eight months? I mean, I think for us, myself, it's just, you know, everything that we have accomplished, everything we have to go through to even get to this situation. You know, uh, nobody even had us being here. Um, let alone in the playoffs. So, you know, um, it definitely is tough, but it's definitely one of those things you just, we've been through hell to get here. And you take that, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta use that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be tough, but that's what I know for myself. I'm viewing it and looking at um, all the shit that we had to get through to get here, just to even get to this situation to, to have an opportunity. So. Proud of this team. Obviously, we didn't accomplish our goal, but a lot of people, and I'm sure a lot of you guys in here counted us out early on in the season. So for us, we'll take it. Abby? Jason, the cameras caught you talking to Andrea Gudala and Draymond Green and had some messages for you. Can you share what those were? You know, just. Uh, congratulating those guys, you know, they, they were the better team this series, they won, you know, show, um, show those guys the respect, uh, you know, I got relationships with a couple of them, so, uh, you know, that's pretty much all it was. Uh, Brian here in the fourth row on the aisle. Jason, you, know, you got up such a strong start. You win the team, and then, you know, second half you couldn't get the ball to fall. Sort of what happened there, and you, know, you got asked about the shoulder. Did that affect the turnovers and some of the missed shots? Are you really hurting bad? Uh, it was just a tough night. Hey guys, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. This question is for both of you. Um, the overriding thing that we've heard from all the guys who sat up there before you is that the future is bright here in Boston. What is it that gives you guys faith that you're going to take this to another level? And what is that level that you believe you will reach in the future together as a group? Um, I think for us, it's, like I said, we, we speak of the, the route we had to take to get here. You know, um, it wasn't easy. And that's the confident part we have in it is, you know what I'm saying, we, we, like I said, we went through hell to get here. Um, we didn't play our best basketball, the best series. This is probably our worst series. So um, it's part of it. It happens. It is what it is. Um, but, I mean, we're young. Um, and like I said, things we went through to get here showed us, you know, what we have to come and in store for us in the future. And I think that's why we're confident about the future. And, and we all know what the goal is in the future. Way in the middle. George Bless you with Nets and Marcus, he may have brought up the foundation that's now with this team. As a guy that's been here and seen the teams that have come through, but with this new core and this new coach, what do you see as a foundation, the makeup of this team moving forward? Um, for us, it's just hard nose. It's who we are. Um, we're a family. Um, 
and you know we we take it and accept every challenge head on, no matter um, the outcome, no matter the advantages we have or disadvantages we do, we're gonna take it in uh, full heartedly. So the guys came out here and competed, and you know we could have gave up, but we didn't. And I think that shows the foundation that we have here. Dan in the back. Uh, Dan Roach from WBZ. Marcus and Jason, you both both accomplished a lot individually this year. Uh, and as a team, you get to game six of the NBA Finals. How much getting to this point and, and seeing how close you were, will that fuel you to do the things you need to do in the offseason as both an individual and a group to get it to that next level? I mean, a lot. I mean, we see what we're capable of. Um, you know, uh, we got a taste of it. Um, and, you know, we want the whole thing. So I know for a fact that we're going to be back um, a different team. You know, we're going to put in the work, um, but this one's going to hurt. Last question on the right side. Uh, Jason, uh, I guess I wanted you to uh, answer. Uh, Karen Gregan from the Herald answered the question that Marcus did on the you know, possibility of you using this disappointment to fuel you going forward? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, we, we know what it feels like to get to this point, like Smart said. Um, you know, and getting here and not accomplishing it is tough. So, you know, you don't want to feel like this again. You know, but you want to get back here. So to answer your question, yeah, it's going to fuel us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. This concludes the session.